the venerated enlightened prophet Baha'u'llah, the worshipped world-honored one Shakyamuni Buddha, the worshipped Son of God Jesus Christ, the venerated enlightened master and philosopher Confucius, the venerated St. Francis of Assisi, the venerated enlightened master and philosopher Lao Tzu, venerated Lord Mahavira, first Sikh Guru Shri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, the venerated enlightened master and philosopher Socrates, the venerated enlightened prophet Zoroaster. What do these and all other revered enlightened masters and saints have in common? They represent the embodiment of love and compassion as vegetarians and vegans. Albert Einstein, Alicia Silverstone, James Cameron, Joaquin Phoenix, Leo Tolstoy, Leonardo da Vinci, Mahatma Gandhi, Nikola Tesla, Pamela Anderson, Shania Twain, Toby Maguire. What do some of these distinguished people of the past and present have in common? They represent the circle of the vegetarian and vegan elite as some of the most gifted and accomplished people in the world. They also represent the embodiment of love and compassion as vegetarians and vegans.
plant-based diets used to be thought of as something that only philosophers would have. Mm -hmm. Well, now we know that they're good for everybody and especially good for kids because it helps them to stay slim and healthy. The process opens your mind. It opens your heart. It connects you to the planet through these animals, through what you eat. The, the vegetarian consciousness is a higher consciousness. There's so many different reasons to go vegetarian. There's the health angle, the nutrition angle, the cruelty the animal faces. We have the environmental issue where it's a huge impact on the environment and the number one way you can go green is become a vegan. We're both vegan. We practice uh, compassion in ways that um, inform who we are in our lives. Wait a minute. I'm getting mild, momentary amusement out of the flavors and feels of these products, and other animals are being tortured and losing their lives over it. Does that weigh out torture and loss of life over a few seconds of amusement? I mean, it just doesn't weigh, and I just thought, you know, I'm not going to do it. I stopped. I just stopped. To me, we don't have a right to be cruel to anything or anyone, the environment, the animals, each other, our families. Animals give nothing but pure love, pure joy. They are some of the countless noble examples of compassion and wisdom. So keep in good company with the noble circle of vegetarian and vegan elite. And the list goes on. Please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VE for further club list and info. Be veg now and join the noble club.